Okay, so uh, hello guys, uh, it's me, Arav, again. So today we're going to be making another PC build. Now, if you remember, last time actually I talked about another PC build, but this time, this is going to be like a more expensive, like more on the expensive side. Oops. It's going to be more on the expensive side, and it's like going to be a really good build, like really powerful. So first of all, we obviously want to start with the CPU, the processor. Um, since we're going with more of a powerful build, honestly, you know, we have all the Intel Core i7s, Core i9s, obviously. My first choice, like, and my personal choice would be to go with one of those. But really, this Threadripper kind of catches my eyes. You know, but I think, you know, this PC build, I'm gonna go with an Intel, to be honest. And so yeah, let's get straight into it. So we're gonna you see the Intel Core i9, it's probably more popular now because like every time I go on a video, like I go on YouTube or any other video site, I always see some like some sort of PC build and almost there's like, always like Core i9, Core i7. It's kind of popular and it's a strong processor. But like in our next build I'll do something with this, maybe. Three thousand six hundred dollars. Well not three thousand six hundred, but like yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, 3,600. But yeah, you know what, let's just go with the Intel Core i9, 9900K. Or, we could go with this. It's an i7 though. I think we should go with an i9. So, this one. Core i9, 109. Yeah, 109 zeros, okay. So, I think we should go with this one. So, let's start off with this one. Now for the cooler. Now obviously this is not an AMD CPU, which comes with a stock cooler. So obviously we're going to need to buy a CPU cooler. Now since this is more kind of on the expensive side, I suggest we could go with like a liquid cooler, kind of this, like this. I mean not exactly like a liquid cooler, but like this type of cooler. Not, we're not going to go with like one of these simple coolers, we're going to go with like all out. So we have many choices, like Corsair is obviously a good brand, but um, when you look at like PC like this, like that, you know, obviously, and if you compare these two, obviously, which one do you think is going to be better, right? And then like, you can go with one of these, like this one, $8 in Intel cooler. We're just going to ignore that, pretend that never existed. But um, yeah, I think we should go with the Corsair, and obviously next like NZXT, these are also like pretty good brands for like coolers, but I think we're gonna go with the Corsair for this one. Okay, now for the motherboard. So this motherboard, uh, we have to go with kind of a powerful motherboard since we do have an Intel i9. This could be good, this could be good. Because this also has this Wi-Fi and ATX, that's good. Honestly, between these two, I like these two. It's also good. Let's check how they are. Like, obviously, if this was a budget Intel build, obviously we would go with this or something a little bit more. Like, less expensive. Like, this is also a good one. But, you know, yeah, I think we're going to go with uh, this one. Asus Rode Maximus Hero. This one is good. Now, also, just saying, when we do get to the graphics card, I, I don't know if any of you have heard but about the new 3080, ETX 3080, but like, honestly, I don't really like, like it, to be honest. You know, let's just focus on the memory right now. Now, since this is a pretty powerful, like, build, 32 GB would be safe, 32 gigs would be a safe amount. Even 64 gigs, but honestly, I don't think you need 64 gigs, and also it's like 2,000 bucks, so, um, no, nah. but you could go like this, which is only two forty four dollars but just, like, you guys can upgrade this, obviously, but I'm just gonna go with a 32 TB of then Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Now, if you do, like, RGB, you can know, also like, go with this, and there's also six, there's also a 16 GB version, that's good, or you can go with the white version, but yes, personally, I like black. A little bit better, so let's just go with black. But you can choose later on. If you want. 
Now, we could go for additional memory, but honestly, I'm just not going to do that. But if you want to, you obviously can. It's like your choice, to be honest. And obviously, you can just see the price already. We haven't even got the graphic card yet, so let's choose the storage now. And sorry about my camera, I just broke through that. Now, storage, obviously, I don't think we should go with, like, uh, how do you say? yeah. I don't think we should go with, like, this type of storage. I think because, like, obviously, this is a strong build, this could be kind of slow at times. I think this would be good, a 1 kilobyte Samsung 97, 970 Evo. This is good, 1 kilobyte. Uh, there might be 2 teras. terabytes, let me check. 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte, yeah, we don't need 4 terabyte. Okay, this is a, for some reason, this is Evo Plus, and it only has 250 bits, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's just go with this one. This one. So it's one tera, which is pretty good. Like an Xbox comes with like two terabytes. So obviously, I mean Xbox, an Xbox One S, obviously, which is the one I have, comes with two terabytes. Okay, now for the graphics card. So I want to talk a little bit about the 3080. Um, obviously, I don't think. Because I just read some articles, I've seen some videos about it, and like the 3080, it has like this form, like you can like, I can't, I'm, I'm forgetting what, what it's called, but like for some games, you can like go to a higher level with the 3080, like you have a normal standard, and then you can just upgrade it, like I, I'm forgetting what it's called. But then after that, it says it doesn't support some games, so if you're like a Fortnite gamer or something, it's not really going to support it, per se. So we're not going to go with the... 3080. So I think we should just go with a 2080, 2070 graphic card. But yeah, let's check it out. Okay, this is a 2070 Super. And obviously, this is a 2060. Okay, okay. This is a 2080, no price. Okay. 2080 Ti. $2,000. Now, obviously, this is supposed to be pretty expensive, and like, 2080 Ti, it is a pretty good graphics card. So let's just go with this. Now, you can see our price, this grow. Which is gonna be kind of, be kind of fun. Now, you could add another video card, but honestly, I don't think we really should. It's just gonna get way too expensive. I mean, this is supposed to be an expensive build, but honestly, like, one card works, but if you want, I guess, you can get another card. Now, case. Now, remember, motherboard, it's in the ATX, right? It's an ATX, which is basically a size. Now, we basically need a good case. The ATX in the tower, ATX, all of this is ATX in the tower, or full tower. Now, you see, we could go with, like, a really good case, like this is a good case. This one is also good, it has some RGB on the front, so like if you're not showing like the sides, like the see-through part, honestly, I think you could just buy this. But like, I'm not exactly sure, I haven't really heard about that case that much. So I've heard a lot about this case, like this is a really good case. So I think we should just go with the NZXT case, HI10, ATX in the tower, and yeah, so let's just go with this one. I like black, so I'm just gonna go with black. Okay, now the power supply. How much watt is here? Oh, okay, we have basically 500 watts. We basically have 500 watts. So we're gonna need a pretty good power supply. Mm, not exactly which power supply. Now, also, just saying, I, I've said in my previous video about this, but you should always try to go with an 80 plus bronze, which is really good actually. 
700 watts. Honestly, if we have 500 watts, I don't think we should go with the 700. This is an 850 watt. Mm -hmm. 1,600 watts. Okay. Okay, good. Um, I think 750 watt would be good. 700 watts, maybe. Yeah, I think we should go with an 80, 80, uh, 850 watts. And yeah, Corsair, Corsair is a good company. Like, there's nothing to worry about, really. And it's 80 plus gold. Obviously, always try to go for the 80 plus bronze. Let's add this to card. Okay, so obviously we're gonna go with we're done with the basic build. Now all we need are like the peripherals and everything else. So the operating system we don't need an optical drive. Operating system is basically like Windows 10, Linux, all of that stuff. So you kind of you can pay a hundred dollars for that if you want, honestly. But or you can get like a free version, which I can make a tutorial later on. Um, it's basically Windows 10, right? But like, it has like a watermark. So if you don't know what a water watermark is, it's basically just it's like a sign that says Windows 10. But it's on the left corner of the screen, or some corner of your screen. And it's pretty big. So like, if you screen or something, like, people can see it. So, yeah. But you can buy that monitor. Now, honestly, I suggest the 144Hz monitor. At least 120. So like, we could go with that. Like AOC, like this is a monitor I might get, except for a way, way cheaper price, like 50 bucks off. Oh no, it's on Amazon for some reason. For me, it's like 145 bucks, 140 bucks. Yeah. And also, you can go with the Scepter. Scepter is also good, 144 hertz, 3 milliseconds. But honestly, 1 millisecond would be good. And basically, there are many sizes, obviously. This one is a kind of curve, and you can like adjust the height, so I think this would be good. And obviously, you can add another monitor, but like, your choice. You, you can use another monitor, maybe even two more, but yeah. And if you don't know, like, Yuga, Yuga who won the Fortnite World Championship, 3 million bucks. Um, he got like a 360 hertz monitor or something. But like, those are pretty expensive right now, I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna go with the 144 hertz, or you can get a 240 hertz if you want. Scepter's uh, a really good company. So, or LG, LG too. And Acer. They're pretty good companies. Sternal Storage 9, Laptop. Case stands. So I'll put in the link for the description for the case stands, like the same thing as the last build. And yeah, expansion cards, no peripherals. There we go. Headphones. Um, I use these level threes. Uh, I can bring them right now. Oh yeah, I'll just go bring them. One sec, guys. Okay, so basically, I use these PDP after the level 3s. Uh, they are pretty nice headphones, to be honest. I mean, they're not that stretchy, but honestly, it works. Like, obviously, this wire is actually kind of short. Because I play on console with this headphone. But, like, I plug it into my laptop, and it's just enough. The mic is really good. You have an adjustable mic, you can play down. Uh, you have, like, adjustable headphones. This is good. And the design right here, I like this part. I like it shows kind of like an art of the inside, which is pretty cool. And these are like pretty comfortable too. So like if I wear them right now. Like these are pretty comfortable with nothing. So you could go with those. Obviously you could go with the Razor Kraken X or Steel Series. Steel Series has been like revolutionary with like gaming. After all. They've made like many wireless gaming headsets, even for Xbox, they made a really good one, Arctic 9X, I think. We could get an Arctic 5 Pro, like Steel Series, obviously, or you could get like a Steel Series wireless headset, which I think would be good. Steel Series, honestly, I suggest Steel Series. Keyboards, now this is interesting.
Now, for the keyboards, obviously, what you want for the keyboard is, like, pretty good. Now, Apex Pro, SteelSeries, obviously, they have, like, these switches, Omnipoint, so you can, like, adjust them between, like, typing, so, like, the sensitivity of typing and, like, gaming. So, if you're, like, a worker, too, at the same time, I suggest the Apex Pro. But, like, if you don't, if you already think this is, like, a pretty expensive build, um, honestly, and you just want, like, a pretty good, because this is, like, 100, 200 bucks for a keyboard. And, honestly, like, it is a good keyboard, but there, are, like, there is a better one, two better ones that I know of, actually. First of all, the Razer Huntsman Mini. Now, this says a clicky, Razer Purple Optical Clicky, we, we're not looking for that, we're looking for something way better. Let's see, yeah, okay, here it is, Razer Red Optical Linear. Now, this, this linear switch, it's Razer's own, like, manufactured switch. It's like a pretty special switch, honestly. Um, I can explain it to you. So, it's like a switch, right? It's shaped differently, it's designed completely differently. There's a beam of light. Now, when you click, the beam of light is, like, cut, right? So, it sends, like, a message that the key has been clicked. And it's pretty fast like that. It's also not that, like, loud. So, if you work, like, in an environment, if you, like, gain, like, an environment with, like, many people, um, this would be good. Honestly, yeah. Razor Hunter Mini, you know, obviously, you can get a white version. I like black, though. Obviously, so I'm just gonna go with black. Now, one thing I have to say is, um, I have a keyboard too, but it's like, don't buy it. Like, it works, but just don't, okay? It's a mouse keyboard combination. Here's a keyboard. It's backlit, no RGB. Um, it's a membrane. Let me just take off the cap so you can see. I don't know if you can see that. So this is kind of a membrane. It's kind of clicky though. It's like a mecha membrane, I think. Uh, it's a pretty good keyboard. I guess, but like honestly, it just, it's, it's, first of all, it's too big for me, at least, uh, no RGB, it's backlit though, which I guess is cool, it is pretty cool, but like, you know, RGB, come on, and honestly, sometimes it's the keys, like the way you put on the keys is kind of confusing, so if you take it off, put it the wrong way, it's going to be kind of like sticky. So you have to like be careful of how you put it. Like one key got sticky, but luckily I fixed it. But yeah, for this build, we're just gonna go with the Razer Hunter Mini. Obviously, your your choice of keyboard. Okay. Now my mice. There are many good options for mice, honestly. So I think side buttons. If you guys know what side buttons are, obviously like the buttons on the side of the mouse. Now you could go with a four hundred dollar mouse, which I'm not doing. Honestly, I'm just not gonna do that. Um, you can go with the Sensei 10 Steel Series, which is not that expensive, by the way. So it's really good. Or yes, I've heard a lot about this mice mouse. It's really good. It's honestly like one of the best mice I've heard about, and it's not that expensive actually. Like it's like eighty two dollars, but you can get it for like fifty for sixty somewhere. I know where else. I don't remember where, but it's like you can get it for 50 or 60 on Amazon or this other glorious, the glorious site. Razer, obviously Razer Mamba. Now, I've been a big fan of the Razer Mamba. Obviously, the shape, the way it's simple. Uh, I like it. I like the side buttons. It's overall pretty good mice now. Or Razer Viper. Razer Viper is also pretty good. And Honestly, I just like how it's like shaped. It's different from like many other mice, and I think it's a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. I've heard about it. Now, obviously, we can also go with I saw one earlier. Oh, uh, Steel Series. Um, what do you call it? It's like a Steel Series Rival 650. That's pretty good. It is kind of expensive though, so you can go with like wired, wireless. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, Steel Series Rival 600, 650. Now this is a really good one. Also, a Neg uh, Razer Nega, Razer Nega Trinity, that's also pretty good. 
Hey, see this. This, you can basically change, like, any type of buttons you want to. And I like the shape. It's like, it kind of fits my type of shape. I, my friend has it actually, so I used it before. So yeah, you can get a Razer Omega, but honestly, if you're looking for a budget, I suggest the Razer Viper Mini. All of this, by the way, can be found on Amazon, like the PC parts, Amazon and Newegg. Those are good, or b and I'll put some links for those uh, online stores. But yeah, so honestly, for this, I think I like the Razer Viper. Simple, obviously. And it has a side button. I love side buttons. I, I just need side buttons. But you know what? For this build, we're gonna go with the Razer Nega Trinity. Seventy-four dollars by the way. Okay, so to be honest. That's about it, really. So we got all our PC parts. It's a pretty powerful build. Expensive, by the way. Um, how much is it? It's four thousand two hundred fifty-five dollars and twelve cents plus shipping plus tax. So yeah, but honestly, we got everything we need. Really, it's like the base of your PC build. Like you got your PC, you got one monitor, the keyboard, the headset. I told you, but you can get like multiple monitors. You can change around the parts a little bit if you don't really like to go with Intel. Uh, you, can, you don't have to, obviously. You can go with an AMD. But just saying AMD, you don't really need a CPU cooler. And you need to change the motherboard to a B450. Because, like, Intel and AMD, they have different, like, requirements. So, yeah. And... So, don't worry about this. This just means, like... Okay, how do I explain this? This just means that it has like a port, like your motherboard has like a port, which is kind of like different in a way. And the second one is some physical dimension restriction. Basically, you know how this cooler, right? Basically, um, we're just seeing how you could fit it in. But obviously, this is all based on compatibility. This entire site does everything for you. So yeah, you should. This should be fine. This should be a good case. And you can always go with a bigger case. Like this is mid tower. You can go with like a large tower case. But like the build, I, I did a budget build, and my case is pretty small, because I'm not getting that big parts, and I, like, obviously I'm not buying a cooler, because I have an AMD. But yeah, that's about it, so thank you guys for watching, um, I hope you like and subscribe to the video, I hope you like this video, actually. I'll put in the links for the description, I'll put in the links in the description for all the stuff, the monitor, everything, and like Newegg and Amazon, you should probably know Amazon, but Newegg, yeah, I'll put in the links. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching.